Hey guys, another exciting opportunity here to bring you an episode of Ask HR, your channel for authentic HR content. We've been doing some videos on inclusion, influence, and impact. And today, we want to do one of such videos on inclusion. We've done two videos on resume writing or cv writing we've done one that covers what an entry level person cv should look like we've done one that covers what a more experienced person cv to look like i got a couple of questions from those videos that i want to address in today's video some people want to find out that we've we we've learned what should be on our cvs but what shouldn't be there? What shouldn't be in the CV? So that's what I'm tackling in today's video. Seven things you should never, ever, ever have in your CV. Seven things that if they are in your CV right now, you need to get a red marker and begin to rule them out. So what are these seven things? Let's dive right in and find out. So the first one is an objective. Now don't get me wrong, because in our previous video um, on CVs, particularly the one for entry levels, we mentioned that a career objective is one of the things you should have in your CV, which is good for an entry level person. This is very important because you haven't really gathered a lot of experience. And so you are telling your employer that this is my career objective. These are the things that I'm looking to achieve over a certain period of my career life. Now I'm mentioning career objective here, targeting a more experienced person. Career objectives usually don't really say anything. So what, you, you are looking for, you're a serious minded person. This is how it usually goes, okay. I'm a, I'm a, very dedicated person looking for an opportunity with a reputable organization where i can bring my skills to it's cliche we have read that hundreds of times since when we we see that we've already lost interest so instead of a career objective what do you do craft an executive um summary okay who are you so you tell us that in that section you highlight some of your skills your expertise what you are well versed in those are the things that we want to see in that brief we are not talking about creating an effective summary that's one page that's why i people end up um having cvs that are 16 pages i don't know if you've seen a cv that's 16 pages so i have yes so we are crafting very brief sentence four to five sentences max that outlines your skills so if you are a more experienced person you are the one i'm speaking to rule out with a red marker the career objective and replace it with an executive summary the second thing is weird or polarizing interests okay we also mentioned in those videos if you haven't please check them out so that you you really craft your cv to suit that opportunity you are looking for weird and polarizing interests what do i mean by that so you have a section where you want to talk about your hobbies i said that that was important because we want to see you living life outside of the work environment so we want to see that work life balance that's not a place where you write weird things that are not related to the job. So, sample writes, sleeping, and things like, you know, if it's not related to the job, please go and take your CV and take it out of it right now. So you don't want to see any interest that's not contributing to the role. In an interview, you want to the in interviewer to be in your corner. So you are not going to write a certain interest there. That will now drive every attention to your interest and you'll be asking questions about that 
that makes you uncomfortable research reading those are nice things to put in your cv as your hobbies if they are if they are not skip their hobby part the third thing is those who write their cvs in the third person voice that is so interesting and sometimes they can put you off i mean it comes over someone who is very arrogant and it just doesn't sound right to me and to several interviewers that i am aware of okay so maybe john raised this is you john raised so so and so million ghana cities just stick to using the first person pronoun i did this i did that i organized this never ever ever as you're listening to me right now if your cv is in the third person discard it and craft a new one using the first because your name is already there if you, if you are john your name is there we've seen it that's enough now if you you are communicating to me in the rest of your cv you're communicating to any interviewer in the rest of your cv you want to avoid using the third person language it doesn't give your cv the kind of attention you would want it to nothing says i job search on company time than using a company email on your resume like how do you even do that you shouldn't do that but i've seen a lot of people who have company yes company emails on their cvs it's just simple just use yours to avoid that and also make sure that you are doing this outside of company time okay so instead of using your company email address always stick to using your personal addresses check your cv if you have that in strike it out right now so if you're a manager or an interviewer or anything you maybe you've seen you are someone who have had to work with a lot of cvs before you probably have seen those cvs where this one is using very complex huge words you know words that are not necessarily conversational for instance when you are chatting with your friend you don't use words like analogous append and things like that but in your cv you probably want to impress and so you use some of these big words anytime you are crafting your cv okay ask yourself does this sound conversational you know on a on a daily basis is it easy to read easy to understand will someone need a thesaurus to understand what's going on in my cv sometimes you think that you want to impress but you're just creating the impression that you probably live in a dictionary so just keep it simple but straight to the point so you see those who have cvs that are some i'm, I'm not this is not a joke there are people who actually have cvs that are 16 pages i once um was looking for an auditor right so advertise for an auditor and then a short listing and i actually saw a cv that was 16 pages and this is because people have work experiences from 15 plus years and this applies more to um senior or more advanced people so jobs that are 15 plus years ago that have no relationship with the job you are applying for if you have a cv like that it's okay to you know have all those informations there but as we said in our previous videos on resume writing if you are applying for a particular job those 15 plus years rules you held long ago that do not speak to this current one strike them out and keep your cv brief and straight to the point finally whatever you do don't lie don't lie in your resume because you will be found out so let's say what you studied in the university but for some reason you didn't graduate but you put there that you a graduate of this university and all that every unless you want to work for all these and serious companies who won't do their background checks serious companies do background checks because they want to be sure who am i going into partnership with 
okay so they will definitely do their background check so just come clean sometimes people wouldn't mind if you have really highlighted your ability to carry out this responsibility they'll still go ahead and give you but imagine you don't come clean on something as important as, as this and then they go do their checks and they come and realize that hey you were withholding information from them or you outright lied about it you lose an opportunity so whatever the case is make sure you are not telling lies on your cv make sure everything that you are telling us on your cv is a representation of the truth so there you have it these are seven things you should never have on your cv and if they are there right now make sure you take them out now i've also said that hey putting together a cv can be quite tasking a very good one at that a catchy one one that people will be interested in looking at so if you're not able to put a cv together see professional help even if it means paying for it it's always worth it i'm sure um all things being equal in subsequent videos we'll share with you people who we helped in terms of grooming coaching um crafting their cvs who landed the job who have been applying forever and no one ever calls them we intend to um, bring some of them here to share their experiences with us so thank you so much for watching today's video if you like it let me know your comments like share subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and get a lot more people to subscribe as i always say we are building a community where we are helping people land the right opportunity and also excel whilst they are at it thank you